Welcome to the Court of Public Opinion. On this Memorial Day, I would like to take a time to remember Ravi Zacharias and Dr. Jackie Olympi, along with our fallen men and women who have lost their lives, uh, risking so much to be brave and save this nation from tyranny. I respond very quickly by saying, why is it a trilemma? Because it's also true that God is all wise. Mm -hmm. We don't end our theology with God is all powerful, all loving and evil exists. We also believe God is all wise. And we further believe that God is eternal. You bring just those two elements into the, into the equation and it changes the paradigm. We know God is all knowing. And then you take the issue of time. What happens over a period of time? Let me give you a quick example of this. When I was growing up in India, I was a constant failure repeated failure because I never applied myself. And then all of a sudden I passed in very high honors and the ability to join the Indian Air Force. Out of 300, they were going to select 10. I came in at number three. So I sit down in front of this Churchillian looking wing commander and he stares at me across the table and he's asking me a few questions. And then he leans over and in Hindi he says, Beta. Beta means son. He said, Beta, you're a good man, you're a nice man, but I'm going to reject you just like that. And I, I visibly felt my body start to tremble. He said, this job is about killing and psychologically you are not equipped to kill. It was a few months after that the opportunity came to migrate to Canada. If I'd been accepted into the Indian Air Force, I was committing for about 20 years. I would never have come here. Never would have had the time to sense the call for God into ministry. Never would have seen the life that God has now given to me to be a persuader and uh, help people understand the beauty of the gospel message. That door was slammed. It took years to find out why that door was slammed. There are emotionally satisfying answers as time goes by. I've lived with a lot of pain with a broken back. I have two titanium rods that are about eight inches long, four clamps, eight screws bolting me down. I injured my back very badly. There were times I'd be sitting in the front seat with a car pulling over my fave and I head on my steering wheel and crying. The pain was so intense. And you know what I found? How much it has taught me to depend on him every day to sustain me. There are two things I need with this lifestyle, a strong back and strong vocal cords, and I have neither. And God has shown me that in my weakness has manifested his strength and how his healing hand even came through on my back after years and years of suffering. There is an emotional satisfaction when I know that there is a cross, there is a hill called Calvary, there is a suffering savior, there is a relationship where he gives me comfort. God does not conquer in spite of the dark mystery of evil. He conquers through it. He conquers through evil and pain and suffering and makes you the person he intended you to be through that. Yeah, just take some time out to remember Dr. Jack Yanapi and I grew up on Dr. Jack Yanapi. I would listen to his program with my dad. I was just reunited with my cousin. Life when you start to age, things start to go wrong. You notice that. I also notice that with young people who drive recklessly and my nephew is paralyzed because of something like that very issue I just addressed. So here at the Court of Public Opinion, this Memorial Day is emotional because some of us are spending our first holidays without our loved ones or not with our loved ones. and. I want you guys to know that we had a very, very powerful week. A lot has happened. 
to one person I love dearly. And when you're in a foster home and there's nobody, there's no family going to visit, or you're in a home or program and there's no families visiting, it can be very, very difficult. And I urge your families, if somebody's in a program or some place, drop them a line, call them, tell them to say hi, because it's very important. You might not know your importance to someone until you go visit a shut-in or go visit a family member that might be, quote, kooky or crazy. This is Memorial Day weekend, so this is the kind of holiday that kicks off the summer. Since COVID, it's been a little different because people are finally starting to get out for the first time, which is a kind of nice thing. This is a chance to catch up with your family. This is a time to catch up with your loved ones. And remember, on Memorial Day, the fallen and those that are gone who have gone on. So I'm going to leave it there. And I want to wish you a very quiet, sane, safe Memorial Day holiday.